wanted to see if we would get better tools for sort of integrating data preparation with the rest of the machine learning space. The design principle of Kubeflow is to bring together the different tools that people would commonly use for machine learning and try and provide a partially unified interface. We tried to lay it out in sort of the, the journey of um, building something. If it was too easy, we wouldn't need a book about it and I wouldn't have a job. There are people that study uh, machine learning or data scientists, and then when they actually find a job and they start working in the field, they realize that, you know, um, it's tough. In the real world, uh, yeah, no one, no one comes to us and is like, here is some wonderful data, it's super clean. I think one of the, one of the things that I think about when I, I think back to university um, is like, there's that thing where we, we learn maybe how things should be or how things could be. And then when we come to the real world, uh, yeah, we discover that, you know, it's, everything's terrible. A little bit of what I feel in the moment that we're kind of living in a cycle of machine learning was very big at some point, and then we introduced more data tools to handle machine learning and realize that, hey, it's great for machine learning, it's also great for analytics, right? So I'm really excited that it looks like we're actually finally agreeing on a data format for interchange um, that isn't CSV. We, we, we like put a fine layer of paint on top and now you can pretend that the six cats underneath is actually just one panda, right? What are some of the biggest pain points that we have uh, in data infrastructure today? I think Metadata is something which continues to, to evolve and we continue to see more need for evolution there. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.